Hello, and welcome to the Damage Prevention Channel. Today we have two special guests with us. So I'd like you all to welcome Marcus Bernal and Mark Lipka, who are both supervisors of education. How are you guys doing today? Doing excellent, Kevin. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing fine. Thanks for having us. I'm happy to have you here. Um, just want to talk a little bit today about Coordinate PA and explain to the audience uh, the ins and the outs of it all. So let's just get started right away. And the first question I have for you, what is Coordinate PA? Great question. It's a web-based application that's that has been created and developed by Pennsylvania One Call System to assist our stakeholders in project management. Uh, throughout the life cycle of a project, they can utilize it for coordination, uh, really from conception to construction. Great answer. And how was this developed? Well, <clears throat> long story or short, Kev, we'll go, we'll go middle. How does that sound? Middle right, sounds so, good. So, good luck uh, with that. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we were in a group um, uh, called Connect Pittsburgh. Um, it is a group of municipalities in the Western PA area. And uh, they were looking for ways to for lack of a better term, coordinate again, you know, but, but collaborate. Um, There's issues going on where they weren't planning correctly uh, their projects and they were looking for software programs to do so. All right. And some of them cost a lot of money. Some of them didn't. Uh, and uh, Bill Kiger, our president, uh, I think you've met before, obviously. I've heard of him. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, he leaned over and says, Hey, I think we can do this for our membership. Everybody in the room, was our member anyway, it was just a member of a different organization at the time, as well as ours. So it was a different meeting, I should say, as well as ours. So I uh, looked over, leaned over and said, I think we can do something like this for our membership. Uh, let's go back, brainstorm a little bit, and see what we can come up with, see what problems they're actually having, and maybe we can do a test group and see if we can create a software of our own. Okay. Uh, so that's how Coordinate P actually came about. It wasn't called anything yet, it was called, hey, somebody has a problem in a room. Now, you mentioned some issues that they were having to feel. Like, what kind of issues are we talking about? Oh, uh, big one. One we always talk about and we always train on is, is paving. All right, that's, that's the big one, money and paving. Uh, you know, you have a small, a large, a middle-sized municipality that wants to go ahead and do a paving schedule two, three, four years out. They have a set budget and things like that, and they would go in, pave out the roadway, and next thing you know, a utility company would come in, do a repair, do a, do a replacement of their own, no fault of their own because they didn't know the schedule or something like that, and rip up that same roadway that that was just repaired or replaced. Right. Um, so Coordinate PA basically brings everyone together, gets everyone on the same page as each other. It does. It does. It, uh, it's, a, it's a very useful tool that, that you can actually plan out that, that process. Great. Mm -hmm. And then who actually uses it? Well, as I mentioned before, our stakeholder groups, we have our project owners, designers, excavators, and facility owners. And really anybody involved in the project can utilize the system because that's what it's there for to bring everybody together to the same table so to speak and really discuss from the beginning the idea the conception of that project throughout the entirety of it till the construction is finished and the repairs are done great and and uh when you tell me some of the benefits of actually using this system I told you money, Kev, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, the benefits are, are really that. Uh, and planning uh, planning ahead. I keep saying planning and coordination, obviously. But but um, communication, big, big benefit. Um, some of the people never have never met the people they're working with in the field every day. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Right, right. So they, they can actually put a face to the name. Maybe they've emailed them before or called them but never actually got to meet them. So there's some processes where they can meet them and actually have the correct contact information for that project. Uh, as well as... Time. 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 You're time right. is money. You said money. Time is money. Uh, working through that process and recognizing uh, what hurdles might be there prior to showing up on that work site, prior to trying to communicate with an individual or company that you don't know the exact contact information for, this system, Coordinate PA, can help you save that time by doing a little legwork up front and then as that project flows through, you know who those contacts are, you know who to reach out to, and if we are looking at paving projects, doing it once instead of multiple times. Okay. Big benefit. The constituents in the area are very pleased when you can actually do a project once, as he mentioned, more than two or three times. Open the roadway one time or three times Right. is a I lot nicer. I can imagine that the traffic, the people that live there, are yeah. uh, not happy if their road gets opened up three, four times 
when it only had to be done once. Exactly. All right. So exactly. Quinn APA makes a lot of sense to me. Mm-hmm. Are there any other benefits that you'd like to talk about? Yeah, another benefit is that all documentation for that project is put into one place, one secure repository on that web-based application. So you've got any plans, any designs. Uh, The beauty about it is you don't have to be rifling through uh, email folders or paper. All your ticket information associated with that project is all in the one particular place. A one-stop shop. One-stop shop. All right. Well, that's a huge benefit then. You have to search all over the place for everything like you did in the past. It's nice. Which also, again, goes back to saving time as you work through the process. Great. All comes back to that. Perfect. We know uh, what you want. You want your time back. You want your money back, right? Money's uh, a good thing. It, yes. It's, it's definitely something that you can you can work, work towards saving those things. All right. Well, thank you, guys. And the next thing I wanted to talk about is that I understand that Pennsylvania 811 holds these UCCs. Um, could you explain a little bit about what the UCCs are and how the CPA software works within those CPAs? I mean, within those UCCs. Well, UCC stands for Utility Coordination Committee, mm-hmm. um, and those were face-to-face meetings where people came, sat down, and discussed pretty much what Coordinate PA does. So they're the foundation of where Coordinate PA came about. Where are these UCCs held? All all across the the state. Okay. Um, and the one big question we get all the time, well, what do you, you've coordinated PA, what do you need the UCCs for anymore? It's actually improved them. Um, it's actually made them uh, more effective. You can pull up coordinate PA right on the screen when you're in the meeting with everybody and say, these are the next coming projects for the next few years. Uh, so to, to us, it's actually improved the conversation at the UCCs. It's, right. a, it's a value add to them, mm-hmm. right? Because we can, we can pull up those projects on screen and they can sit and discuss and see them. Oh, I didn't know that was coming. Well, we discussed it you know, a while back, but it didn't, didn't remember. Now it's coming to fruition for us. So it's, um, got it. So the UCCs are very beneficial then for promoting CPA. All right. And, uh, now what is the CPA process? Like how do I gain access to it? Who initiates the process? Uh, What are the steps necessary to have a successful coordinated project? Yeah. So basically you gain access, uh, via our website, pa1call.org. Uh, and you go ahead and make sure you have a, a username and password of your own, mm-hmm. please. And then uh, you get access to web ticket entry or do a design training video, how to do Coordinate PA. We have training on there, and, you, and there's a little quiz at the end. Pass the quiz, you get access to the next business day. All right, you get access to Coordinate PA, then you can enter your project in Coordinate PA, small or large. Uh, some people think large projects only. Well, it doesn't have to be visibly large, but it, you can put them in Coordinate PA. And uh, once you put your project in, you can see who's working in the area, mm-hmm. uh, maybe collaborate with them. Maybe you have something that's overlapping their project, which is really cool. Uh, maybe you can work together instead of maybe schedule together. That's the idea. You know, you cut it open once, like you mentioned right. uh, before. And then you enter your design tickets, final or preliminary design, whichever's best. Um, and then you go ahead and enter your pre-construction meeting tickets and then your construction tickets. Uh, so the process is really three or four steps based on who does it. The project owner designer goes, goes and enters the project and then the co- contractor gets the access and enters the tickets, the dictates. So what is a complex project? You brought it up several times. Well, yeah, we, we like it's, it's, a, it's anything that can't properly be described on a single locate request. Okay. Uh, we also call it the disk method, uh, which is, uh, duration, impact, size, and complexity of a project. Okay. This, to that disc at you right there. Yeah, yeah. Nice. And how does that play? How do those four pieces play? Uh, for, for example, um, a lot of people think of complex project or large project as something that's from here and 10 miles down the road. Right. Uh, but what if you're in a city area or something like that in a, in a very populated area where there's multiple underground facilities in the area, you know, that's going to have a, uh, maybe a long duration to do the job or a big impact on the facilities that are already underground. Uh, so you're going to want to... Um, Make sure that you're alerting everybody and giving people enough time to locate their facilities, Mm -hmm. protect their facilities, and plan for working around those facilities. Uh, It doesn't have to be this large scope of a project. It doesn't mean the project isn't big. If you're building a stadium on one city block, that's a big project, even though it's not 10 miles long, right? Right. So uh, you're going to be there for a while and working around major facilities for a long time. So definitely want to throw that in coordinate PA so you can plan a lot better. Right. And communicate with everybody because everyone needs to know what you're doing out there when you're doing it. Exactly. That makes exactly. sense. All right. 
Um, any further information that you'd like to give about this coordinate PA process? Uh, yeah, um, it doesn't cost anything extra. Okay. It's one question we get a lot. Is it, it, it's it's free of charge with your membership, or you know, when you're entering the notifications, they think it's a hundred twenty five dollar fee to enter tickets. Mm -hmm. That doesn't change because you're using coordinate PA. Okay, so it's just free with part of PA one call services. Yeah, All which, right. is, which is great. Uh, another thing is the design notifications have to go through coordinate PA. Mm -hmm. uh, so you definitely want to plan and put your design notifications in, which are required in most jobs. Uh, so. You know, definitely a benefit, definitely something to add and make sure you're utilizing because of those those scenarios. Um, what else? It's got a, a number of different bells and whistles that depending on which stakeholder group you are, you can utilize. So there's a bunch of different reports. If you are putting in large projects or a large number of projects, um, the documentation for keeping everything together as far as plans uh, is significant as well uh, there are different base layers or map layers that you can utilize to really zoom in or hone in on where that project's going to take place um, and as marco said you could either do a small project or you could do a large project that is is up to three counties into seven municipalities so there's really a, a scale of which you can utilize the functionality of corn apa there's a, there's phases involved, Kevin. You can break a project, a large project, break a large project into multiple phases. Um, you can commute. There's a communications tab. It's dedicated to adding contacts and communicating back and forth within the, within the project itself. You're not calling outside of the project, right, Mark? You're actually going in and you know entering the message right there on the ticket. And the nice thing about that is that it utilizes whatever communication you have so if you have an email address associated with your contact it sends it to that email address you don't have to go in through the system as another step or layer to that so you're receiving that however you've already provided your contact information or your phone number or whatever way that goes okay one big thing yes i think we kind of missed a little bit but one big thing is sue data project data right Upload it right to the project. Any maps, plans, anything like that that you have available based on your pre-research or anything that's going on during the project, upload it directly to the project itself. And then everybody can see it. Everybody can see it. And how do I get all the facility owners added to this? Once you enter the ticket, the design ticket or anything further, the facility owners are automatically added to the project. Well, that's easy then. I don't need to search around. So it's just like placing a regular one call. Just like placing that regular one call. If you have somebody outside of that list that you want to add, you simply write their name in and add them to the project. Very simple. Easy enough. Mm -hmm. So now you said that to learn about doing it, I would have to take the web ticket entry quiz and go through that. But is there any other ways that I could learn more information about Coordinate PA? Yeah. Um, you want to actually contact your liaison team. That's okay. a big one. Mm-hmm. You have multiple liaisons around the area, uh, around the state, uh, that can absolutely come to you and help. You can do it over, uh, over a video call or something like that uh, if, if you ever want to get more information uh, or get your team or your group trained. Absolutely. And there's other webinars on it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah we, do, we do regular webinars on it. We schedule specific webinars, whether it's in one-on-one -on -one or company-based, that we can hone in, focus on what your needs are, and walk you through the so I can just call you up process. with my company and say, hey, I need to learn how to do this right now. And you'll just get online and do it with me? Well, I mean, i got to check my schedule first. But schedule. basically, yeah. <laughs> You're not yeah. free all the time? Well, we'll, we'll, get, we'll schedule it and we'll get you set up and taken care of. All right. So, <laughs> so Mark's not 24-7, but we are as a call center, however. Yes. That's important. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so we do have our, our team is available to you. We'll, we'll get you on the schedule and, and uh, make sure you got all the access to that. Well, great. Mm -hmm. And now, is there anything else that you'd like to add to this? Yeah, uh, this is great. All right, uh, we, we really want <laughs> appreciate you, it. Yeah. We really want you to uh, utilize Coordinate PA. Uh, I, I mentioned it doesn't. It seems like when you get a new application, it gets difficult or changes hard, right? It changes changes the good, but change is really good in this sense. It's a very very simple process, very step by step. Uh, I always tell people when I'm done training them, keep it simple first, and then build on your project as you go. So just, if you keep it simple, enter the project, make sure the contacts are there. Yep. You're gonna be in, you're gonna be in great shape. All right. You well, utilize the one call staff as much as you can yeah. for any questions. All right. Well, that's what they're there for. So that sounds great.
I just want to thank you both for joining me today and talking all about Cordonet PA. I believe our audience learned a lot, and now they know exactly where to go to if uh, they have any questions at all. So thanks for being with us today. Thank you, Kevin. Thanks for having us, Kevin. We loved it.